The School Teachers by Charles Peggy. In a community, the school teacher must not be the representative of the government. It is fitting that he should be the representative of humanity. It is not a prime minister, no matter how important a prime minister may be. It is not a majority that the school teacher should represent in the community. He is the born representative of less fleeting personages. He is the only and priceless representative of poets and artists, of philosophers and scholars, of the men who have made and maintained humanity. He must ensure the representation of culture. That is why he cannot assume the representation of politics, because he cannot hold two offices, two representations. If this is to be. We must have the courage to repeat to school teachers how indispensable it is that they should cultivate themselves. To teach at random is not the question. One must know what one teaches. That is, one must have begun by first teaching oneself. The most eminent men never cease cultivating themselves, or rather, the most eminent men are those who have never ceased. Who ceaselessly continue their culture, their work. Nothing is obtained without pains, and life is perpetual work. Education cannot be conferred; it is obtained by work and is communicated. It is by reading that a man shapes himself, and not by reciting handbooks. And it is also by working modestly. We must teach beauty, not from horror of ugliness. But rather by attraction to beauty, beauty should ignore ugliness, as the god of Aristotle ignored an imperfect world. When one makes children unhappy, one is a criminal and risks killing them. When one makes them happy, one is right, while running the risk of making them silly, presumptuous, and insolent. Teaching people to read, such would be the sole and true end of a skillful education. Let the reader know how to read, and all is saved. It is a dangerous illusion to believe that one can publish without receiving, write without reading, talk without listening, produce without feeding oneself, to give of oneself, without recovering one's strength.